All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry. We're back for another Discord voice chat tutorial, kind of doing an updated version on how to do your server settings and your server permissions. Because I guess I glossed over a couple things or didn't explain them very well. So we're just going to explain them by having Larry set up his Chupacabra's Lair Discord, because a bunch of people, both on this channel and my gaming channel, have been asking me if they could join me on Discord, and the answer is sure, why not? So we're going to set up this server and some roles within it so that we have places for everyone to go and we can cut down on the trolley butt munches that are eventually going to appear on the server. So basically, the first thing I wanted to mention was a lot of people were curious how you get roles to appear separately on the sidebar of everybody who's online and offline. And the answer to that is underneath your roles, down here you have the button that says under role settings, display role members separately from online members. So if I disable this, now I just appear as one of these peasants. And I don't want to do that. I want to be the head honcho. I want to be the cool beans McGillicuddy cat. So I'm going to go back to head honcho, which is the server admin role. And I'm going to say display role members separately from online members. I'm also not going to allow people to, to like message my role or my rank in the server because I'm only going to have one person at this rank, me. And that would be kind of redundant. So now what we want to do is we want to prevent people from being able to just jump into this Discord server whenever they feel like and start spamming the pants off of everybody. So we're going to do those in the basic server settings first. Let's see here. Um, we're going to go down here to must also be a member of this server longer than five minutes. Oh yeah, we'll do this. So there's two options here. You can make it so that you have to have been registered on Discord for longer than five minutes, which means your account on Discord has to be verified with Discord and also be five minutes old. This one down here requires that, and it also requires you to be active on the server for more than 10 minutes. So I think I'll start with medium. Because I don't know how many people are going to bother spamming me. I'm not a crazy big ch uh, Discord. Nor, nor have I found a lot of Discords that are, are big enough to care about all of that. And then default notification settings I will set to... I'll leave it at all, all, men, all, all messages. That'll be fine. And then I need to create a, an AFK channel for this next piece. So we're going to create um, the AFK... Shame Toilet is what I'll call the AFK channel. And everyone can access this channel, because why wouldn't they? And we will designate this as the AFK channel for the voice chat. And people will end up in there after 15 minutes of sitting there not saying words or being at their computer doing stuff. And I'm going to change the, the area of the United States where the server is to US West because that's closer to me and this is my server and I'm the most important person here so that's basically how we're going to roll and that should cover the basic settings for security purposes now we probably want to start setting up different roles for people so back in the server settings we'll go down to oh just we'll just start with roles and let's see, I probably want to have server moderators to help me police all of the shenanigans going on. I'll probably want some admins that can help me editing things that don't necessarily... Like, not everybody necessarily has to have the same admin powers, so we'll probably go over that. So let's start by making a new role, and we'll call those um, super... Well, not super minions, because that's something that League of Legends has in it, and I don't like League of Legends. So let's just call these Turbo Cryptids. Yeah, that's probably fine. A cryptid is just a mythological creature. I'm technically a cryptid as a chupacabra. And we'll make their 
icons like uh, we'll make them orange and we'll display them separately. We'll allow people to mention them for help. And then we'll also make them administrators. They'll be able to manage the server, manage the channels, manage other roles to help me out. They'll be able to ban people, kick people, change people's usernames, manage the emoji. Well, that'll be just for me. I, I'm the only one allowed to upload sweet graphics to the server itself. And then they can manage nicknames. They can manage... What is this again? That's fine. They can edit webhooks if they want. I don't, these are only going to be people I explicitly trust, so that's fine. They can read messages, send messages, send text to speech, which is what this one is. I'm not sure why I just disabled that. Why is it undoing a bunch of my stuff? Get out of here, Discord, you butthole. And then they... I will allow them to send text messages or text to speech messages, manage messages, embed links, attach files. So managing messages means that they can edit other people's messages if they're swearing and I don't want them to say words like, I don't know, something racial probably. Um, they can also delete them. Um, allow, allow them to attach files and upload them to the server. Read messages. And uh, read message history is very important because if you don't have read message history, in the derp disco, all these old messages won't appear for anyone who logs into the server. It'll just look blank to them like this channel right here. So being able to see what people have just been talking about, I find to be very helpful in people understanding what this community is like before they just start saying a bunch of random stuff for no reason. So my, my admins will also be able to mute members, deafen members, move members, use voice activity, which is an interesting function. So this basically means that if somebody is not, like they have a really bad microphone and you want to prevent them from having it constantly on by using really bad voice activity, you can disable this and it'll force them to use a push to talk key instead if they want to say anything. But I trust my admins, otherwise I wouldn't give them admin. So that's pretty much good for them. Next, I want to create um, monster moderators. And the monster moderators will be, oh, let's make them green like the creature from the Black Lagoon. And then we will, before I add any more permissions, let's just add everybody. We'll create, um, what do I want to say? Um, just member? Does member sound cool? I don't know. Let's just see, um, we'll make the veterans cryptid pals. Those will be the, the veterans. And then the regular role for random members will just be hobo. Yeah, that'll be nice. And then everybody, well, I can't change the default at everyone role's name, but you get the idea. So we'll make the more veteran members, we'll make their icons be under this darker color, and then hobos will be, uh, I don't know, let's make them, let's make the cryptid pals like, um, let's make the, I can't quite decide, I guess like a burgundy? That, that works, then the hobos will just be this gray. And then we'll just start with the hobos. So hobos do not, will. I guess they'll be displayed separately from randos. Nobody needs to mention this role because it's going to be a lot of people. They won't have admin powers. They won't be able to manage the server. They won't be able to manage roles, kick, ban, or any of that. Um, they can change their own nicknames. I don't care if they do that. Although I prefer if people don't change their name every five seconds until I get to know who the heck they are. Um, they don't get to manage emojis or manage webhooks. They can read messages, send messages. Um, they don't get to attach files until they get to be a veteran because that's annoying. They can embed links because that's harmless. I can ban them. They can read message history. They can mention at everyone. They can add reactions and they can use external emoji 
Mm, that's fine. I don't really care about that. They can connect to voice chat. They can speak. They can use voice activity, but they can't mute and deafen people or move them around. Cryptid pals get to have the ability to change nicknames. They can... What else do I want to allow them to do? Because if you're a veteran, you should be rewarded for this. So they're going to be displayed differently. And then they can send text-to-speech messages. That's what they've earned. They can... I don't need them to manage messages. They don't need to do that. They can attach files and upload them to the server. They can mention everybody, add reactions, use external emoji. They can connect, speak. I'll let them deafen. Not, well, yeah, muting and deafening is fine. They can mute and deafen people because I trust them enough to do that. But they don't get to move. Well, I'll let them move people. Because sometimes I might have fellow, rec like, moderating, recording YouTube people that I trust. And they can move people into channels if, uh, if I so deem them worthy. And then the moderators, they can send these. They don't get to manage the server. They don't get to manage channels or roles. They do get to kick members and ban members because moderators need to help get rid of the riffraff. They can change their nicknames, manage other people's nicknames, and that'll be it for their admin powers. They can also mute, deafen, and move people. Yeah, they don't need to be admins, and I'll display it separately, and people can message the role to get help with things. And yes, I do believe we are more or less ready to invite random people in, but let's change some channel names around first. So let's make the Derp Disco general face talking, or general chat, that'll be fine. Oh, that's right, you can't have spaces in the text channels for whatever annoying reason. I never understood that. You can have spaces in the voice channels on here, but you can't with the text. And it also doesn't like being capitalized either. Um, What do I want to call the bacon disco? This will just be random crap. Again, we can't have spaces because communism, communism discord, then we'll have, um, let's add a music bin for people to post their music stuff. Again, I keep not putting in a dash instead of a space. We'll have a music bin. We'll have random, well, General chat is probably enough for posting your various things like, um, game news, random topics. I have a lot of friends that post music that I'll invite in here to post music-related stuff. Let's just put the evil, um, the dark channel. Evil Town. That'll be the, uh, the, the evil crappy channel. It'll be Evil Town. Yep, that'll do. We'll put Evil Town underneath of random stuff. And then you put the music bin at the bottom. And you can just click and drag a channel to reorder it if you don't like what order it's in. And then I'm going to remake the recording chamber because it needs to be fixed. Uh, we can have just a general voice channel. This will we'll call... What do I want to call the general voice chat? Um, the Derp Bus. That'll be the derp bus. Um, anyone can be in here saying words and stuff. I don't really care. You can set a limit on how many people are allowed into a channel. Like I can set up a recording lair. And this will only be available to head honcho, monster moderators, turbo cryptids, and cryptid pals. But no hobos are allowed in here. And, well, actually, this will just be my private recording channel, so only Head Honcho and Monster Moderators and Turbo Cryptids are allowed in here. And then I can set, like, a user limit of, like, five people, so that only five people can go in there, and if they then don't have admin powers, they aren't allowed in there. But, for the most part, people should know that if there's people in a recording chamber, 
they shouldn't be in there because they're probably recording. Then we'll just say, we'll add another general chat channel. Um, walrus wrangling? Ostrich wrestling? And we can just drag this up again so that the AFK... I like the AFK channel being at the bottom of the list, followed by channels that people are generally locked out of and all of that stuff. So let's add just a um, chupacabra. Just chupacabra stuff, and it only allows the head honcho in by default, so only I can be in there. Not even admins can enter with all of their shenanigans. And then we'll add one more um, Stranger Danger channel, just so that we have plenty of general purpose chat channels that people can hang out in and game. And we can go through each one of these channels, like going to the recording chamber or the recording layer. And then we can go to permissions and we can actually either add a role and say who can connect to this or not. And we can actually add individual members like my friend Emo, who I could allow to connect, but not to speak initially. Actually, he can speak. Actually, no, no, no. So if I'd say he can't speak, he'll enter the channel and by default, he will be muted so that his and I can show you. Muting somebody in a voice channel looks like this. You, they have their little icon X'd over for their microphone, and that means that they're in there, they can hear what's going on, but they can't speak until you're ready. And then you can also set this functionality up so that in the recording channel or the recording layer, unless an admin removes your being muted and deafened, then you won't be able to hear anything. Actually, no, you can't deafen people by default. You can only mute them, but that's fine. So that's how you prevent them from talking when they first enter the channel. Just in case someone actually gets into the channel, they have to take a moment before they start messing up your recording. So you can individually add people to this list. You can individually add roles to each channel's permissions and then change each of these to prevent people from going into certain channels or from messing with certain things. And if you're curious what these web hooks are, because someone did ask me about that, these are basically like little snippets that you can throw out onto a website that allow people to click on it and immediately log in to the Discord server. Uh, you probably don't need a lot of people to manage web hooks, very, very seldom. So I think that about covers a little bit more advanced as to setting up permissions and where to put them where and why and when. If you have any questions or you need any clarification, feel free to ask. Oh, and actually, I know what I'm going to add. Um, tutorial. Tutorial. Help. Desk. There we go. Actually, we'll call this tech support. Tutorial tech support. And now if anyone comes in from one of these tutorials, once I make this server public, or at least once I'm ready, I will have a spot where people can ask for help. Otherwise, uh, one of the things I'm planning on doing in the not too distant future is doing a bot tutorial on how to set up your own Discord bots because I'm probably going to get a moderator bot to help me out around here. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Again, if you need any help, throw those questions in the comments below. Otherwise, I've been your host, Larry. This has been another Discord voice chat, gaming chat, text chat tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed and found this useful, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.